Good morning, everybody. Tuesday's here. Are you excited? It's Tuesday. It's early, and apparently, apparently, we're supposed to have a blizzard today. We just had one, I thought. Then again, that was just a dusting that brought all this snow here. The real blizzard's coming tonight. And it's off to work we go. Last day filling in here. I'm wondering what's gonna happen with my road test tomorrow because we're supposed to be getting a blizzard coming in tonight. We're supposed to get 20 to 25 centimeters of snow today, or tonight. I keep saying today, but it's rolling in this evening, or this afternoon and evening. And uh, that's about two feet. There's a weather warning in effect from Environment Canada. So usually is pretty accurate. I mean, there's gonna be some kind of, some kind of happenings happening tonight. And off we go again, everybody. Back in a truck today. A different one, it's got a big bug deflector on the windshield, makes it feel more like a beast. Sounds like a beast too, but we're just pulling a little like 35 foot pump trailer behind us right now. Hey, Jitty Bitty. Got two pallets on there going to the west side of Winnipeg. And we'll see what else we get up to today. This truck's in a little bit better shape than the other one we were in. And you know, they're working trucks. So it's very similar to the other day cab, except this one has the wind deflector up on top, which saves a lot of fuel when you're going against wind. It's amazing how much of a difference those make. Because this is just like a brick wall behind us, right? So here she is, my little baby trailer. She's just a baby. Isn't she cute? It's one little cute axle back here. <laughs> so yeah, we're just pulling this little guy around all day. Just dropped off two pallets here in Winnipeg by the airport. And now I await my further instructions, my next mission. Just gotta go back here, make sure they close the door properly. This is one of those roll up doors, eh? Oh, see? And this is like this long, super long thingy here. You don't want that dragging on the ground like that. I gotta throw that inside the trailer. The only problem with this roll-up door is that it's caked in snow right now. And I tried to bang as much of it off as I could, but a lot of it's stuck. And it makes the door very heavy. Alright, alright. Let's find out what our next mission is here, eh? I think it's the business hat. The business hat's working. It's good, it's good. I can take my muzzle off now. Nobody to bite in here, it's just me. Okay, let's radio in. You wanna know something cool? I just picked up three pallets from the airport here that just landed. They took off from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Now they're here in Winnipeg and on my truck. It's crazy. Pick up one more pallet back where we dropped off our first three pallets. That pallet's going to St. Malo. This truck is another noisy one. But that's okay, not as noisy as the first one. <laughs>
the Red Wing Diner I was talking about last time we were here. Missed it when I thought of it. There it is. Looks like they've had problems clearing their streets here. <laughs> well, look how much snow they have in the median already. That's one snowfall. But I guess that snowstorm is coming in later than they thought. Britt canceled her chiropractor appointment today because we thought the snowstorm would be here already. Looks like she probably could have gone. Weathermen, I tell you, and women. Weather people, is that what we call them now? What's the what's the right word to say now? Weather people, weather persons, weather people kind. One of those people, when are they ever right? There's clear skies over there. Blue sky. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm gonna grab some fuel here. This landmark's my last drop, and if they send me back home from there, then at least my tanks are full, and I don't gotta run all the way to Steinbeck or St. Anne. It's so strange just having a little baby trailer. <laughs> I find myself taking corners wide enough for a 53 foot, and then I look back, I'm like, where's the trailer? <laughs> I only got half a trailer. It's actually uh, harder to back up a shorter trailer, I find, because they move around a lot quicker. I mean, it's just as easy, but it's a little bit different than backing in a long trailer. So if you're used to a long trailer, you can sort of, you, you, you can tell the difference when you're backing in docks, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll see how much fuel she takes. Whoever had it yesterday didn't fuel her up. That's okay, I had plenty of fuel to get my whole day done today. Didn't really matter, it'll just be a little more than usual. At least whoever has it tomorrow doesn't have to worry about it. Well, according to the fuel records here, uh, no one's been driving this truck since the beginning of the month. So that's probably why. It's probably not a regularly used truck. Okay, well, at least it's got full tanks of fuel for whoever needs it next. Let's go make our last delivery and see if they got anything more for us to do. All the way up to Landmark. So we came up the, uh, what is it, the 206 or whatever? From St. Malo, went a little east, and then went up uh, towards Grunthal, through Grunthal, up to the 52, and then up to Landmark that way. The locals get it. The rest of you are like, huh? What? We took the short way. Back country. Sort of. I mean, everything down here is back country. There's not any really big highways going through here. There's just provincial highways and then there's municipal highways. Off we go. This is right where we saw that bison on our, uh, on our adventure trip where we went to go see some of the sites. I think bison's right here. See, it's right off on the left there. And the bull is on the other side of Grunthal. We didn't go past that this time. There's the bison. Well, we have an empty trailer, but the day is not over. They found more for us to do, which is good. More work, the better. Picking up in Steinbach. It goes to Winkler. I don't know if I'm bringing it there today, but I'll bring it there if they want me to. Apparently it's just two skids. They had been delivered to the wrong location. It was supposed to go to their Winkler location. I don't know if it was us that did that. I think it was someone else. Anyways, they got us to come and clean it up. Bring it to the right place. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. That's just what I heard. Might be wrong. I don't know. All I know is I'm picking up something here in Steinbeck. It's going to Yonsey. I'm actually picking up at the location where my brother-in-law works. It's weird working local and picking up and delivering to places and areas where you know people. Very strange, but I like it. It feels much more homey. 
if that's a word. I got so used to the stick shift already at the stoplight there in my pickup. I'm reaching for the clutch. Where's the clutch? <laughs> Becomes a habit pretty easily. So the last two pallets I picked up here in Steinbeck, I didn't need to bring them to Winkler. They would have been closed by the time I got there. And uh, that's that. So I, I may be there next week for a few more days, depending on how tomorrow goes and when they want me to start if they like me. So if they like me, I might start next week or I might start in the new year. I hope they like me. I mean, I hate it when people don't like me because then I wonder, why? Why don't you like me? Right? Is it because I look funny? Is it my face? I already hide that most of the day. You don't like my balding head? I, I try to wear a hat as much as I can. I'm like, why? Why don't you like me? Is it my cheesy dad jokes? I'm sorry, those are here to stay. If you don't like those, I, mean, I guess we can't be friends. I don't know. Why don't you like me? I try to be nice to everybody, and I pretty much like everybody. Very few people that I don't like. You gotta do something and be a special kind of, uh, special kind of bad person for me not to like you. But some people just don't get along, I guess. Some people just don't like me. You know there's like whole YouTube channels out there devoted just to making bad videos about me and hating on me? I know I'm honored, right? I was so flattered when I found that out. <laughs> Look, wow, I have haters that actually spend time into making content just to hate on me? I have arrived. <laughs> I am finally something in the YouTube world. That's one thing you gotta, you gotta know about working on YouTube or like making content on YouTube. There's gonna be people that hate you for no reason. And it doesn't make sense. What did I ever do to them, right? But hey. Keep talking about me, man. Any advertising is good advertising. Thanks for the free publicity, sending people my way. You see, because then they come to my channel wondering why why that guy hates me, and then they realize, oh, this guy's pretty all right, all right? And then they start watching my videos. And they come over to my side. I don't think I have that many haters, though. There's some YouTubers out there that their whole channel is just about making the world hate them, I think. They thrive on the hate. But for the most part, like my audience, like when people ask me about my YouTube channel who don't know much about it, like what, what I tell them is that, you know what? I've got a fantastic audience. I really do say that. I brag about you guys. I got a great audience. They're very kind, very generous, very supportive and uplifting. They're good people. Not a lot of YouTubers have an audience like I do. And I'm, I appreciate that. I, I try to make good content as much as I can, and I, I keep it clean, family-friendly, so everybody can watch, regardless of if you like bad words or not. Hey, you can watch my videos, because there's not gonna be any bad words in it. At least there, there shouldn't be. <laughs> there shouldn't be. Some people have different definitions of bad words, but you know, the big ones, the big bombs, they won't be in here. At least they shouldn't be. If they are, they're usually someone in the background and then I have to spend half an hour cutting that out because <laughs> I don't want it in my videos. I want my videos to be friendly for everybody, you know? I grew up in a community where swearing was very, very frowned upon. And I understand some people grow up in households where it's just the regular language at the supper table, right? So if I just keep it out, then everybody can watch my videos. You know, you can let the kids watch my videos. They're not gonna hear anything they shouldn't. Okay, boys, be honest. Who missed me most? Tell me. Hey, we, me. Chevy, is that true? Yeah, pretty much it was him, but I miss you too. At least you're honest. See, you're such a good boy. You're even honest about that. Our little unicorn. A size of a small horse and a dog like no other. Practically required no training. He's just a perfect dog. No offense, Diesel. You took five years to calm down. Five years, man. But now look at you. Now look at you. Such a good weasel. Frank? Frank, how's things with the Galactic Federation? 
Don't talk about a man. Secret. Hush, hush. Really? How about you, Wiener? We're not allowed to talk about it. It's a secret. Well, the secret's out, man. Everyone knows you're here now. Bunch of shapeshifters. Hey, Commander. What do you got to say for yourself? No, he won't say anything? Wiener. Why won't he talk? The world needs to know. He's hungry over here. Something. What's going on here? Is there a party over here? Is there a oh, the chef's in town again, isn't he? That's me. Don't worry. Chef Josh on duty. Chevy. Chevy. You majestic beast, you. Perfectly fluffy tail. Did I mess it up? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> Whenever I'm working on my videos here, he just comes and hangs out with me. Sleeps on the bed or sleeps on the floor beside me. <laughs> just likes being in here. So yeah, we'll uh, see what comes up tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was fun pulling around that little pup trailer. It was something different. It was, uh, <laughs> I found it a little more difficult to back it into docks because it's so short and it moves around so quickly. Well, you get used to it pretty quick. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You can't fit as much in there, obviously, but uh, yeah, it still rode pretty smooth. I thought it would be a little rougher and a little bit more of a bumpy ride, but man, the way they make trucks nowadays, uh, everything is always very smooth and no problems, no issues. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We make new videos every day. Sometimes we're out on the road. Sometimes we're at home here. It's whatever life brings me. We include everything. I'll talk to you tomorrow.